Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, can you? Good evening, teacher. All right, it's good to have you. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes? Awesome. So, yes, let's start. So, in uh, today's lesson, we continue talking about homes. We continue describing our house. And also, uh, we will work on uh, questions in simple present with short answer. So, let's get it done. All right. So, first, first things first, okay, we're going to check on this. Primero vamos a ver estructura, right? Let's first uh, practice uh, grammar, yeah, just a little bit. Uh, teacher. Yes. Eh, una pregunta, en la plataforma estaba la pregunta, what, your, eh, what rooms are in your house? ¿Por qué utilizan el are? Ahí. Ah, what rooms are in your house? Eh, porque significa are, significa ser o estar. Entonces, eh, Pero la traducción de ser no era como cuántas... Eh, habitaciones hay en tu casa. Ajá. Sí, pueden utilizar, puede utilizar are there in your house, o sea, el, el, esta, esta forma, esta forma que se utiliza el, como are there, o sea, que significa haber, o sea, el verbo haber, are there, oh, uh -huh. como are there. Puede de que en, en esa, en esa, en esa se, se han comido esto. Le voy a escribir la pregunta completa, o sea, como podría también estar, what rooms are there, que esto significa, eh, que es, esto es como el verbo, como existencial, le dicen algo así, are there in your house, in your house, in your house, what rooms are there in your house, pero ahí también dice, what rooms are in your house, o sea, qué, qué habitaciones hay en su casa, significa casi lo mismo. Okay, mm -hmm. okay yes. gracias. All right, welcome. Uh, anybody? Does anybody else have any other question? Any other question? No? All right, so let's move on. Okay. Um, yeah, so here we, have, uh, here we have this. All right, so let's practice a simple present with short answers. So look, it's simple. We make uh, questions like this. We add uh, the auxiliary do plus subject, you live in an apartment, okay? Do you live in an apartment? And then you go like, oh, yes, I do, or no, I don't, uh, no, I don't. Let's ask, uh, let's ask uh, Christina to read, uh, sorry, to read this question. Uh, can you read it, please? Um, do you live uh, this in one. apartment? Do you live? You say, and um, I meant, and I meant uh, this question. I meant this one question. Can you read it, please? Okay. Do your bedrooms have windows? All right. Do the bedrooms have windows? And look, yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. Si se fijan, respondemos. Así que con el mismo sujeto. The, do the bedrooms have windows? No, they, yes, they do. No, they don't. All right. Uh, how about here? Look at this. Does a, uh, next question. Uh, can you read it? Uh, can you read it, please, uh, Veronica? Does Chris live in the house? All right. Yes, it does. No, it does not. All right, look, here we have does, okay? Does Chris live in the house? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Chris is a boy, right? So we say he. All right, how about here? Uh, next question, uh, can you read it, Carla?
Uh, does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. All right, good. Does the house have a yard? All right, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, the house, remember, the house is a thing. Es una cosa, ¿verdad? Es un objeto. Para objetos, para cosas, o para animales también utilizamos el pronombre it. All right, good. So ya vieron cómo se forman, ¿verdad? Primero se utiliza el auxiliar do más el sujeto, que puede ser cualquier pronombre, I, you, we, they, he, she, and it, y más el verbo en su forma normal, y un complemento si es necesario. Or, and the, remember that with he, she, and it, sí. yes? Yes, please. Eh, quería consultarle en todas las... Eh... Huh? Hello, Pablo, or who was talking? ¿Quién está hablando? What happened? Who was talking? I can't hear you. Se le fue quizá la... Maybe he got disconnected. Well, uh, address your question in the chat, please. So, uh, I was saying, I was saying, so we use an auxiliary, but in this case, when we talk about he, she, and it, we use the auxiliary does, does, does Chris live in a house? Does the house have a yard? We don't change the verb, all right? Uh, now, let's practice uh, let's practice these questions about your house vamos a practicar esas preguntas and there may be others of your creativity uh, about your house vamos a practicar todas esas preguntas y también podemos hacer otras preguntas de nuestra o sea de nuestra propia creatividad and uh, we'll work in small groups okay so uh, let's do that. Let's review this. Uh, let me just uh, take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp group. So wait a second, this is your group. All right. All right, just a second. Let me just send the picture here so you guys can look at it. Vamos a practicar esas preguntas y también pueden hacer otras. You can also give more information, like, for example, do the bedrooms have windows? Oh, yes, they do. They have two windows, for example. You can ask more inform. Uh, you can add more information. Now, uh, let's do this. Let's work in uh, small groups, okay? And you can also ask other questions, okay? Like, for example, uh, do your ha uh, does your house does your house have a garage, for example, or do you have a do you have a do you have a a yard in your house, or does your house have a yard? So, uh, yeah, let's work in small groups. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, sure, teacher. please. What uh, happened? Yard. Uh, what's mean yard? What's the meaning of yard? Uh huh. Uh, yard is uh, like that little garden in the front of your house. Not ah. all houses have it. Yeah, uh, creo que les voy a mostrar la imagen de ayer. Quizás vamos a repasar eso para, I mean, it's a good thing to do. Vamos a repasar las partes de la casa que vimos ayer. Okay. Yeah, Thank so you. so you remember, yeah, it's okay, don't worry. Una preguntita, teacher. Yes, yes, go ahead, uh, Javi. Eh, eh, el tú, el dos, En todo, en todas las oraciones de, bueno, en todas las preguntas, ¿cómo se llama? Presente simple. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Presente simple. En todas vamos a ocupar el tú, sin importar, el, digamos, el contexto o alguna regla gramatical. Siempre el tú o el sí, dos. Esa es la regla. De hecho, that, that's the rule. 
tiene que ser con la, toda pregunta tiene que comenzar con do or does. O sea, todas las Cuando preguntas. Cuando es en presente simple. Ajá, exacto. Ah, Cuando es en presente correcto. simple. Depende del sujeto, ¿verdad? No do, hay alguna excepción en el cual no se ocupe el do. En el eh, presente simple. Excepción, o sea, gramatical, gramatical, no. Pero es muy posible que, digamos, usted está viendo una serie y, for, y, y por ejemplo, alguien, alguien dice, alguien dice, alguien dice, eh, Uh, alguien dice, por ejemplo, um, veamos una. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, alguien dice. You, the bedroom. Uh, ha, so the bedroom has a. The, the bedroom has a. Uh, has a window. Así pregunta, ¿verdad? The bedroom has a window. Sin el auxiliar. Pero esa pregunta. Lo correcto que es se entiende el do. Es incorrecta. Porque es necesario utilizar el do. O por ejemplo le, 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 pregun le preguntan soy so you work in the, so you work at, at McDonald's sin el do eh, se entiende por la entonación de la persona y todo pero necesito un auxiliar que okay, necesito el auxiliar para que se, para que tenga la estructura de una pregunta that's, that's gracias. Point. Mm -hmm. yes all right so where were we yeah house all right the house So for if you haven't seen this, this is also in your, in your platform. So please also, eh, yo les muestro todas las cosas de la, de la plataforma aquí, o sea, aparte. Pero siempre, o sea, para estudiar, cuando tengan tiempo, revísenla. Porque recordemos que de eso depende el, eh, de eso depende la promoción de nivel. O sea, que pasemos de nivel. So yeah, uh, yeah, here we have this uh, yard, all right? These are the parts of the house. Um, these are the parts of the house. So, for example, here we have a yard. A yard. No se dice yard. Así, ya, sino que yard. Como que si fuera una I que está antes de eso, ¿verdad? Yard. Uh, a living room. Dining room. Kitchen. A laundry room. Stairs. And a garage. Okay. Um, all of this is in the first floor. Todo esto es en el, está en el primer piso. Then some houses have a, a second floor. Y algunas casas tienen un segundo piso. Second floor. You no, know, with a, a bedroom or bedrooms, a hall, un pasillo, and a, a bathroom. And maybe stairs. Stairs son como las gradas. Okay. And uh, an apartment may have the same rooms, just with some additions. For example, an apartment may have a lobby. Los apartamentos tienen un lobby en muchas ocasiones. They also have an, eleva uh, an elevator, elevator, and uh, and uh, probably stairs. Yes, so that's what you may find in an apartment. Okay. All right, uh, now let's move on. And uh, yes, we're going to work in uh, groups and ask the questions in the WhatsApp chat. Okay, so let's do it. Let's make, let's make small groups. All right, here we go. Please, please accept the invitation. ¿Y ustedes también están en el chat? Sí. Sí. ¿De WhatsApp? Ok, sí, sí, sí. Ahorita está, está escribiendo. Alguien, no sé si es el coach. 
Ahí Pero está son, la, son las de la diapositiva, ¿verdad? Las de la imagen. Sí, sí, sí. Like. Ahí Do you like a, you love in a apartment? Does Chris like... Es, me, me imagino que eso es lo que... Me imagino que es lo que... Ahorita que es lo que vamos a repasar, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, so yeah. we, we ask, uh, sorry about it, guys. Uh, we ask uh, this so question. Uh -huh. Yes, like, do you live in an apartment? Uh, do the bedrooms do bedroom have, a have windows? windows? This one, does Chris live in a house? Uh, probably not. Esa quizás no pueden hacer otra pregunta si ustedes desean. And uh, does the house have a yard? Or does okay. your house, does your house have a yard? Okay? Yes. Pueden hacer otras preguntas sobre las, las habitaciones de su casa. Por ejemplo, does your house have a, a garage? Does your house have a view? And so on. Yeah. So. A bathroom. Yeah. Good. Thank does you. your. All right. Very good. So you continue practicing. All right. Okay. Fine. Thank now I'll check on the other group. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, sería it, porque es eso. It does. Uh, it does. Uh, it does. Uh, ahora tu pregunta, Veronica. Ok. Um, Mauricio. Ok. Does the house, the house have... Um, who? Repeat, please. Does, does the house have a hole? It has a pasillo. A hole, hole, you say. Hole, hole. Yeah, hole. Ah, yes. hole, okay. Yes, yes it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. yes, all right, good, good, very good. Yeah, continue, continue. Just keep talking. Okay. All right, I'll go check on the other group, all right? So I got a group. Yeah. Es que no entiendo si aquí es do you house have stairs or is does does house does porque nos estamos refiriendo no a usted sino a su casa, okay? So it's does your house. Does house does your house. Yeah, does your house. Yes. Okay, gracias. All right. Uh, Rocio, does your house have stairs? Has stairs? Yes. Have, have, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, continue, please. Yes, it does. All right, good, good, pretty good. All right, so you continue talking, okay? I'll go check in another group. All right, see you later. Okay. Do the bedroom have windows? No, no, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. That's good. That's good, guys. All right. Fine. I'll check on the other group. Okay. Bien, entonces, yo creo que vamos a inventar. Ah, ya vamos a regresar. Yes. Yes, well, let's go back. All right, is every, let's wait for the others, all right? I think everybody's getting back. Yes, all right, cool. Great, 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 great. So, um, so let's talk about our houses, okay? Just, uh, just a few responses. 
So, uh, for example, uh, you can say, oh, I remember, I remember Gabby's house has a backyard, for example, All right? You can, you can say something like that. So let's talk about what you remember, okay? So, uh, for example, uh, well, let's ask uh, Larissa. Larissa, do you remember anything about your classmates' answers? Like, uh, for example, uh, Mauricio's house has a has a garage. Do you remember anything? No, Mauricio. Eh, um, eh, Mauricio asked to to Javier. Um, eh, ask to Javier. Eh, um, it, does he he have a, a garage? All right. Oh, so and, yes. And he said, and he said he don't uh, he don't um, he doesn't he doesn't have a garage. All right. So it doesn't have a garage. All right. Good. Yes. Good. So Javier's house doesn't have a garage. Okay. Great. All right. And Mauricio live in the house. Mauricio lives in a lives. In a house. Lives in a house. Lives. Yes, good. Uh -huh. Very good, Larissa. Anybody else? Does anybody else remember any of their classmates' uh, answers? Anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, I remember. Yes, Luis. Gabby is house yeah um have garage uh, so gabby's house has a garage has all right has yes. <laughs> all right good that's good Luis. and um what about you alejandra what do you remember i remember some information about sylvia sylvia lives in a in a apartment all right good uh, the apartment has two rooms. And the apartment has two rooms. Very good, very good. And uh, let's ask, uh, uh, let's ask Ricardo. Ricardo, you, do you remember any information? Hello. Yes. Is the information? Uh, like, like, do you remember any of your classmates' uh, information? Si se acuerda algo de lo que le dijo que, por ejemplo, la casa de tal persona no tiene garage o no o algo así. Sí, es que no me recuerdo los nombres. It's okay. Okay, solo como. Puede decir my classmate. Ah, solo puede decir my classmate. He has a house. Uh, very big. So he has a bedroom. Right. Yeah, that, that, that was fine. That was fine. So uh, that's good, guys. Uh, we just uh, practice questions, like uh, questions with short, uh, with short answers, and uh, now we are going to uh, to practice. Uh, well, we're going to learn vocabulary about uh about furniture Do, uh, somebody somebody asked this question yesterday teacher what's furniture somebody said this yesterday furniture yes yes, yes. so we are going to uh we're going to talk about furniture in your house today so uh let's take a look at uh, at a, a short presentation here. All right, uh, so look at this. Look at this. So here we have these uh, place, this, uh, this furniture at home, okay? So for example, uh, we have a bookcase. A bookcase, a dresser, a coffee table, a table, armchairs, 
stove, a microwave oven, chairs, curtains, mirror, a refrigerator, pictures, lamps, a clock, bed, a desk, sofa, a rug, and a television or a TV. Uh, do you want to practice the pronunciation of uh, any of these uh, words? Quieren que le repita alguna de esas palabras? Do you want me to repeat any of these words? Yes. Yes. Uh, repeat, please. Armchair. Oh, arm, arm armchairs, armchairs, armchairs. Acuérdense chairs. que tenemos chair, uh, chair, chair, this one, and armchairs. armchairs. Yeah, armchairs. Eh, en Spanish, en Spanish sería como sillas con agarradero. I was see, but uh, how do you call those in Spanish? Sofa. Yeah, that, that's what they are. Right. Oh, well, here's a sofa. These are sillones, right? An armchair. Teacher, please pronounce microwave. Yeah, microwave. Microwave. Yeah, microwave oven. Oven. Yeah, oven. All right, one second. Uh, please, let's uh, be quiet for a minute. Just, all right. So... Uh, any other question? Do you have any other question here? Yes. Uh, yes, Mauricio, go ahead. La traducción de rug. 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 Esa es una alfombra. Alfombra. Pero también se puede decir carpet. Yes, yes, yes. carpet. Uh, there is a carpet and rug. A uh, rug es como esta pequeña. La carpet es como la que está sobre todo el piso, ¿verdad? Y también a la entrada de la casa, in the, I'm going to put this in the chat. No se fijan que a la entrada de la casa tienen una, una tipo alfombrita, right? Mm -hmm. There's a little, and that one's called a mat. La que dice welcome, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Esa se llama mat. Ma uh, mm -hmm. yeah. eh, ¿Me lo puede escribir, por favor? Yeah, it's in the chat. So ah, okay. Ah, the chat. Okay. Pero, ah, ok, gracias, gracias. All right, all right. welcome. Any other question? Any other question? Uh, yes? How do you say refrigerador in English? Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you pronounce it? You say uh, refrigerator. Refrigerator. And, the, and, and the, you can also use the easy, the easy form and say, uh, and say, uh, fridge. I don't know how to say fridge. Uh, I have a question, teacher. Yes. Es que he escuchado de que a veces a los cuadros le dicen painting, a los pictures. Entonces, Ajá. Es que, eh, la diferencia. Eh, bueno, sí, sí, una, si es una painting es eh, porque es pintura, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, you like hecho a pincel with a brush. Pero si digamos es cualquier otra cosa, casi que impresa, it's a picture. Pictures. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right, welcome. Uh, any other questions? Questions here? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Dresser, dresser is vestidor or, or, or it, okay, como que traducción le podría? Yeah, it, it's a, a dresser is, is where, dresser. is these uh, things that have, uh, that has the, uh, these uh, little, Es eso que tiene como la gaveta, ¿verdad? Uh, a dresser, no, it's no. where you put your, your clothes, where you put your clothes in. Donde se ponen mm. la ropa, ¿verdad? Okay. Mm -hmm. He has these little drawers. Yes, he has the, these little drawers, como esta gavetita. Sí. Yes, yes, that's a Thank dresser. You. All right. Very welcome. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Any other question?
Any other question? Well, I guess uh, we're, we're fine, okay? Uh, so, uh, somebody asked me to pronounce cor uh, curtains. Yeah, curtains. Uh, you don't have to pronounce the, the T in here. You can say curtains, curtains. Así como que se trae esa sílaba, curtains, curtains. Pero también se puede pronunciar así como curtains, curtains. Es como algo suave, esa T. Curtains, yes? Excuse me. Dresser es como, como una cómoda o como un armario. No, pero más que todo cómoda. Yeah, dresser. como un gavetero, creo que le dicen también. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, a dresser. Teacher, please repeat microondas. Yes, microwave, microwave, oven. Microwave. Microwave oven. oven. Yes, microwave oven. Yeah, that's Thanks. that's how you call it. Welcome. Uh, yeah, any anything else? Any other question? Any other question? No. No, we're good. All right. Yeah, very good. Uh, very good, guys. Uh, so now. Uh, we are going to continue practicing uh, with our classmates and uh, <clears throat> you are going to talk about the furniture in in uh, in your house okay so so i want you to please uh select some uh, pieces of furniture and ask questions about the furniture in your home okay so select some pieces of furniture and you ask questions about these uh, pieces of furniture like for example uh, do you have an armchair uh, at home or or is your stove big or uh, do your windows do your windows have curtains that's a good question some people don't have curtains in their in their windows do your windows have curtains do you have pictures of you at home you know what's funny i my mother doesn't have any picture of me at home i mean in the in the in the in the on the wall she doesn't have any picture of me there so that's a good question too. Do you have pictures of your family on your wall? So uh, I want you to ask questions about 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 home. You know what? What we're gonna do is this: we're gonna put them in the chat, right? The vamos a poner en el chat para que también para que tengamos varias preguntas que que hacer, verdad? So um, we said first, uh, yeah. Do your windows have what? Do your windows have? Do your windows have curtains? Curtain. Yeah. 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 Do your windows do have you curtains? Have curtains? Uh, do you have a rug at home? Or do you have a rug? Uh, do you have a rug? In your, ¿a dónde, ¿a dónde ponemos la, la rug? Casi siempre, ¿dónde se pone? In the living room. Yeah, in the living in the room. living room. Yeah, in the living room. Okay, great. Uh, Sylvia says, do you have pictures, all right? Yeah. Do you have uh, pictures? Pictures at home. All right, good, good. Y un ejemplo con el, el disculpe, un ejemplo utilizando el das. Mm, uh, por ejemplo, oh, por, no. sí, sí, pueden hacer como, por ejemplo, algo así como, does your uh, stove have an oven? Así como que si tu cocina tiene, tiene horno, ¿verdad? Does your stove have an oven? That can be one. Como nos estamos refiriendo a algo, ¿verdad? A un objeto. 
does your stove have an oven? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. Stove is right. cocina. Stove. Uh -huh. Stove. Entonces, le está preguntando que si tiene eh, gama, eh, horno en su cocina. Exacto, exacto. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. si tiene, if it has a built-in. Built si tiene un, un horno integrado. Así le dicen, built-in. Ah, okay. Si ustedes compran cosas, a veces que vienen de Estados Unidos, dicen que tienen built-in, o sea, que es algo que viene integrado. All right, good. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, you know, more questions, more questions, please, please. Do you please. have a mirror in your, in your bedroom? Uh, a mirror, yeah. Do a you have a mirror? Yeah, do you have a bedroom. mirror? Yeah, do you have a mirror? Have a mirror in your bedroom. A mirror in uh, your yeah. bedroom. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's a good question. Do you have a, uh, a mirror in your bedroom? That's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, we can ask more questions, like open questions. This is a good question. How many TVs <laughs> do you have in your house? Uh, do you have a home? Yeah, do you <laughs> have in your house? Yeah. Good. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, you you say home or house? Uh, uh you can What's say. What's the difference? Oh uh, well, the difference the difference is that uh is that we we use more home. home. Okay, home. You can say home. at home or home in, is hogar. Yes. Home is hogar. Pero también se refiere a la casa. También se puede okay. referir a la casa. Okay. Pero si digamos, por ejemplo, le preguntan, le preguntan, uh, where are you? I'm at home. At home. I'm at home. Eh, la gente por lo general usa at home. Y nosotros at en español home. decimos en la casa, ¿verdad? La casa. Y también nos tenemos la costumbre de decir in my house. Ok. So it's at home. Ok. Pero si le preguntan, ah, uh, where, is, where is the party? It's, it's in, in my house. Ok. Ahí sí está bien, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Porque si le digo at home, yet. Yeah. At home, the king is doing with me, right? So, there we go. Uh, so, now, uh, yes, I think we have plenty. Do you have a coffee table in your living room, man? That's good. That's a really good question. Uh, any other? Any other? Any other? Uh, do, do you know how to say chinero in English? Hey, you can also ask me, you know, teacher, how do you say this? this thing oh okay yeah uh do you know how to say chinero in english you say cupboard no. cupboard Cup. cupboard so for example do you have a cupboard in your kitchen or does your kitchen have a, a cupboard cupboard all right yeah i guess do you have a television in your room your bedroom in your bedroom yeah that's a good question javi uh so yeah i guess uh now we are going to work in uh, in uh, one more time yeah we're one more time we're gonna work in small in uh, in small groups man but there there are plenty of questions in here I, i'm gonna take a picture of all of them and uh, they will be in the in the whatsapp chat and uh, you dis you discuss these questions with your group so yeah, let's take a picture. They're here, right? Yes, questions are here. So uh, yes, now let's work in small groups and uh, discuss. Please accept my invitation. All right.
Javier. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. <coughs> Repeat. In your, in your kitchen, do you have a refrigerator? Yes. My kitchen have a refrigerator. Ref All right. So your uh, my kitchen has a refrigerator. Has a refrigerator. That, that's refrigerator. A refrigerator. <laughs> it's a it's a difficult word. I know. Yo la practiqué como mil veces para aprenderme. A mí me costó también. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yes. All right, cool. You continue talking. That was good. All right. Y acuérdense que cuando referimos a él, ella o, o una, un objeto en singular, yes. utilizamos has. All right. I have. Yes. He, uh, she has. He has. And it has. It has water. It has water. Right. Good. You continue talking. Well done. Good job, guys. I'll check on the other groups. Estamos ahí enfocados en la persona que es la primera persona. Yes, I do. Yes, dos. Yes, dos. Bueno, tal vez el profesor nos puede aclarar un poco. What is your question? Uh -huh. oh. Let's see. Oh. Es que le preguntaba ella cómo se respondía si se decía Do you windows have curtains? Pero, perdón, curtains. Uh -huh. Este, eh, si sería yes, it do, o yes, it does, porque, o sea, oh, si no uh -huh. en el objeto right. o cómo. Yes, yes, I got your point. Entonces, como estamos hablando de, de dos, o sea, de en plural, ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso, como es en plural, utilizamos they, sin importar que sea persona, o cosa. Entonces decimos do. Do the windows, como se dijo, windows have curtains. En plural, los dos, si se fijan, ¿verdad? Entonces, do the windows have curtains? Y oh. se dice, yes, they do. No, they don't. Ok. Ok. Yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. Estamos hablando de un objeto, pero estamos hablando de objetos. I mean, it, in plural, so it's they. All right? Yes, they. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Very good, guys. So, okay. uh, all right. I'll go check on the other group. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Do you have a dresser in your kitchen? No, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, it doesn't. Okay. Luis, do you have a, a run in the living room? No, it doesn't. Rocío, do you have a um, television in your dining room? Yes, it does. Luis, right. do you... Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, guys. Continue. Okay. Luis, does your bedroom has a lamp? No, it doesn't. Carla, does your... Kitchen have an um, a table? Yes, it does. Uh, Rocio, does your bedroom a computer? No, it doesn't. Okay. Right. Good. That was good. Very good. Uh, all right. Uh, cuando le preguntan, así que las preguntas que estaba haciendo, que estaban haciendo, does your bedroom have a uh, a dresser, for example, that's good. When you say, yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. Pero si le preguntan, do you have a? Cuando dicen, do you? Ahí sí, nos estamos refiriendo a usted. Entonces, this is, yes, I do, no, I don't. Okay? Pero cuando dicen, does your bedroom does 
does your house, nos estamos refiriendo al objeto, ¿verdad? Y ahí se podemos decir, yes, it does, no, it doesn't, okay, it. But everything was fine. Other than that, everything was fine. O sea, todo estaba bien. So just, solo presten atención a quién nos referimos, okay? Uh, si nos referimos a la casa o si nos referimos a, a tu casa, okay? Like, si Maybe mm -hmm. be careful when, when the question is with us. We have yes. to answer with us. Exactly. If the, exactly. Same, if the question is with do, mm -hmm. we have to, we must to answer with do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We got to be careful with that. So, okay. so don't forget that. All right. Good. Well done, guys. I think uh, we will, uh, let's return to the session. Okay. 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 All right. Good. Okay. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So uh, we're gonna. Well, I want to hear some of your uh, some of your answers. Okay. Let's wait for the others. Vamos a esperar un ratito los demás. Okay, now everybody is back. So now uh, we are going to discuss some of your answers. So uh, for example, I remember, I remember, uh, I remember uh, Gabby's, have, uh, Gabby's windows have uh, curtains, okay? I remember Gabby's windows have curtains. Uh, now, can you tell me what things do you remember from your classmates' answers? Can you tell me what, what you remember? O sea, alguna de las respuestas, si se acuerdan alguna de las respuestas de sus compañeros, please. Me, teacher, Gaby Jiménez. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, I think so. Uh, um, I think Carla has... Mm -hmm. A rug in her in her living room. Perfect. That's good. That's a great sentence. Um, anything else that you remember? Si son una cosita que recuerden. Just any anything yes, else. Yes, me that... teacher. Go ahead, Javi. I remember there is a house has four TV. All right. Good. So she four television and four TVs. Yes, and Larissa has a little desk, and the Larissa window has curtain. Uh, has curtains. All right. Curtain. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All that right. That is. That's it. Hey, th that's a good answer. Anybody else? Does anybody else remember anything else? Me, I remember. Yes. Gabby has a desk in the bedroom. All right, so Gabby has a desk in her bedroom. That's great. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's ask uh, somebody else. Anybody else? Anybody else? Somebody else? Let's please. Let's participate. You can participate, please, please. Um, how about you, uh, Josephith? Do you do you remember? Any of your classmates' answers? Um, Larissa asking me if in my house have a rug in the living room. Yes. And I say yes. My house ha my house ha has has a rug. Great. Very good. So you have a a, a rug in your living room. How about you, um, uh, Mauricio, Mr. Alarcón? Do you remember any of your classmates' answers? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I remember uh, with uh, House of Larissa. Okay. Uh, have um, lamps in the bathroom. All right. Uh, uh, one one uh, desk in the bathroom. 
one row in the bedroom. Great, very and, good. And for TV in different rooms in your very house. Good. In your house. In her house. In her house. In her house. In yeah. her house. Yeah. Good. Good. That's very good. Well, so Larissa's house is is going famous today. <laughs> All uh, yeah. right. Yeah. So uh, those are good sentences. And does anybody else want to share? Alguien más que quiera compartir? No. No. But you. Uh, remember. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Larissa. From Mauricio. So Mar Mauricio's house. Okay. Mauricio have um yes Mauricio house they have um a picture uh, of paint in the living room. Yeah, so Mauricio's house. On the wall. Okay, on the wall, on the wall. So in his house, he has a he has a a, a painting. Eso ya son painting, verdad? Porque cuando son pintura, verdad? Entonces eso ya son painting. Yes, a painting on the, on the wall. Yeah, in so he has a, all right in the living room as well. Very good. The, those are good answers. Okay, vamos a hacer a, we're gonna do the knowledge check before we go. Vamos a hacer a knowledge check uh, 2.4. Antes de que terminemos, solo para completar la lección de ahora. So is the, this is knowledge check 2.4. You can also do this uh in you in the platform y es mucho más fácil siendo de sinceros eh, si tienen la app es bien fácil de utilizar la app siento que es un poquito más fácil de utilizar que el buscador pienso it's just my opinion so let's do this uh we have to complete the conversation and select the correct option so let's do that all right so uh who wants to do number one que quiere hacer la primera Linda view in an apartment. Linda says. Me. Yeah, anybody. Yeah, go ahead, Mauricio. Uh, uh, do you like, do you live, live mm -hmm. in an apartment? That's good. Do you live in an apartment? Very good. All right. Next one. Uh, anybody, please? Uh, does anybody want to volunteer? Does anybody, anybody Me, teacher. go ahead, please? Christina. All right, go ahead, Christina. No, no, I don't. I live in a house. No, I don't. I live in a house. Well, let's see if it works. Good. Uh, somebody else, please? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Um, uh, Linda, does it have a yard? Uh, does it have a yard? Okay, does it have a yard? Does it have a yard? Yeah, good. All right, somebody else? How about for this one? Me, Gaby Jimenez. All right, go ahead. Uh, yes, it, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, very good. Great, somebody else for this one, please? That sounds nice. Do you live alone? <clears throat> Good. Do you live alone? All right. Great. Next one, please. Me. Yeah, go ahead. No, I don't. I live with my family. All right. Good. Good. That's good, Javier. All right. Somebody else with the next one? Me. All right. Go ahead, Victor. That sounds nice. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Great, very good. And uh, somebody else with the next one, please. Yes, I do. Okay. I have four sisters. All right, yes, I do. I have four sisters, yes. How about here, anybody with this one? Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Good, very good. Uh, we we just have like two more left. Please, anybody here? Anybody for this one? Yes, it does. 
It has four. Okay, very good, very good. It has four. All right, great. And uh, last two, please, anybody. Do you have your own bedroom? All right, do you have your own bedroom? Great, and how about here? Yes, I... It, uh, I do. Yeah, uh, it's a little tricky, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see. It's coming up. Uh, it's taking a too long. Yeah, it's all perfect. Very good. Very good, guys. Well done. So you can complete this on your own. Pueden completar eso. Recuerden que siempre hay que estar, hay que, hay que eh, llevarle continuidad a la plataforma también. And uh, the main idea of the class is to practice together. Okay, la idea de siempre de estar en clase es practicar juntos. All right. So I hope uh, you guys have a wonderful night. And, uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Have Bye. a good night. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, yes, go ahead. Um, when we are going to do the midterm mm -hmm. test, that the, the exam, yes, we are the going to have, have to complete here with you in a in a Zoom class, or we ha or we have to complete by ourselves. Um we are going to do it in the in the zoom class okay y lo voy a hacer así o sea usted puede hacerlo por su cuenta no hay problema pero lo voy a hacer así por si surgen preguntas o algo así verdad okay, mm -hmm. okay. yeah pero okay. usted puede puede a la perfección hacerlo por su propia cuenta también that's no Thank problem you. all right very welcome so i'll okay. see you tomorrow goodbye bye, bye. good night bye teacher good night all right good night bye. 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 Bye.